Hello everyone, this is RJ, and I want to thank you for joining me today at this time as we read through the scripture and also pray together. And I hope that this topical reading of the spiritual gifts of goodness uh, helped us to understand that we cannot be good by our own ways, but it's only through uh, holding on to the goodness of God that God will flow God's goodness into us, through us, into this world. And this scripture from Titus has reminds us once more that it is only by the grace that we are saved and only by that grace that we can be called good. Because it says, at one time we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passion and pleasure. And we lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. And I have to say, the more I read this scripture, I wonder if this was really a past sentence. It seems like what I'm seeing of myself in this present day, seeing of myself still being driven by my human disobedience and deceived and enslaved by all kinds of other passions of the world. As we live in malice and envy, it seems like we're hating and hating instead of loving and loving. And probably that's where Paul is just reminding us that's why we need to return to the kindness of our Lord, where he says, but when the kindness and the love of our God, our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And I love this verse where it says, through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is only by that grace that we were saved. And it is only by that grace, probably daily, that we need to hold on and see the washing of rebirth and renewal of the Holy Spirit happening through us. And wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be a path towards sanctifying grace? For us to see how through the washing and through the rebirth of the Holy Spirit working in our lives that we see the goodness of God flowing through us. We are creating a sanctifying pathway of God's love and grace and goodness to overflow this world. It's easy for us to look at others and easy for us to look at the world and see how they need to be changed. But that change will never happen until we look into us and see how we are in need of that washing of rebirth and renewal of the Holy Spirit. So there we pray again. In order for us to really be see the goodness of God is to say, Lord, wash me, renew me with your Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us again. Lord, have mercy on us, a sinner. So join me in this time of prayer. Let us pray together. Lord, we thank you for this time that you brought us here together, where you bring us to pray, where you bring us to realize how we are a sinner, no matter what we do, no matter what we think we are doing, we are all sinners in your love, in your sight. And it's only by your love that we can be saved. And it's only by your love that you 
will renew us. So pour out your Holy Spirit upon us once more. Help us to hold on to your renewing power that flows your goodness into this world. So now I'd like to invite you to join me in this time of prayer. Oh, Hosanna. Now join me in this time of prayer. Time to intercede for this world. The world that is fighting against this virus called COVID-19. The world that is feel, filled with deceived message and messages that divide us. The world that is suffering with people, not only in fear, but in their economic and economical difficulties the world that is suffering and especially for the ones who are suffering as they battle this virus families 146,000 in this nation who had lost their loved ones because of, because of this virus and the virus that tears us apart a virus called racism let us pray against, and let us pray in one hand, and let us pray together for God's will to be done so we can overcome this time together. Let us pray together. Oh, it's in Now I invite you to join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand 
and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting him themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue to pray the prayer that our Lord had taught us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more for joining me in this time of prayer. And let us continue to pray. Let's pray for God's will to be done and God's goodness to flow into this world. Tomorrow, we will start a new topical Bible reading. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you for being, praying together, and also liking and sharing. I hope you have a blessed one. Bye-bye.